नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटल एज अ पार्ट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट एंड यू नो वेदर यू से इट एज रिक्वेस्ट वेदर यू से इट एज मोटिवेशन वॉट एवर इट इज वॉट एवर दैट I have been doing so far this video recordings or uh, whatever you say you know I also need certain kind of motivation at first place and secondly I am doing it because I wanted to give it back to the society I also spent lot of time and burn more energy as well just give that small bit of it or the you know, small part you know where you know if you could really think that yes whatever he is telling let's try listening to it and give that small bit of support it could be cash or kind or whatever it is if you can donate small bit of it my channel would be really thankful to you and i would be able to produce much better results it's a request and i also commit mistake and mistakes as well i am also normal human being please do correct if you think that i have committed mistake i am telling wrong at any place please do correct me you can always call me on my phone number 9121379100 this is what is my gpay number as well and the phone pay number also is the same if you see though i am sharing those details with you and in case if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to send it across to the email address of n a r a d l a r a m a c h a n d r a at the rate yahoo.com or simple smith123846 at the rate gmail.com small part of donation whether it is cash whether it is kind whether it is help or whatever it is will really motivate individuals like me to do videos like this i appreciate your patience i thank again for watching my videos in advance please do like subscribe share stay blessed have a real blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead
Interesting planet sounds from space recorded by NASA.
This is what space actually sounds like. First off, I'm sure everyone believes they can describe the sound of the Earth since we reside there. You will be startled when I show you what the sound of the Earth from space sounds like. Alright, next. I'm pretty sure we're all scared of one of these getting our Earth, but this is what a comet sounds like when it's flying through space. But this is what it sounds like when two black holes collide. What it sounds like when there's a lightning storm on Jupiter.
According to the Big Bang Theory, 13.8 billion years ago, time, space, matter, energy, and everything in between began. The building blocks of everything we see today burst into existence. By using our high-powered space telescopes, we have been able to see visually stunning regions of the universe, from enormous clouds of gas where new stars are being born, to ancient, chaotic environments where supermassive black holes lurk. The universe is full of extraordinary sights, but what about the sounds? Because it's not just images we can explore, we can also listen to the universe as well. Let me quickly explain a bit about how the sounds were captured. Because you would be correct in thinking that sound waves cannot travel through space, at least not the way we experience them here on Earth. Sound waves need a medium to travel from their source to our ears, and when we peer into the darkness of space, according to our senses, it appears almost empty. However, this doesn't mean that space is silent, because it is actually filled with all kinds of different waves that we cannot see or hear, but that our powerful telescopes and spacecraft can pick up, including radio waves, microwaves, x-rays, and many others. And so by converting this type of data into sound, using a process called sonification, we can experience the universe in a whole new way. The first of the five audio clips we will listen to reveals the sound waves of the early universe. A time before stars or galaxies, when everything was just a hot, bright soup of thick plasma. During this bizarre time, sound waves shook the infant universe, triggered by fluctuations happening just moments after the Big Bang. As these sound waves propagated through the young universe, they left imprints on the matter and light, much like patterns made by waves on the surface of a pond after a stone has been dropped into it, for example. These patterns were imprinted as slightly brighter and darker patches in the light, and by mapping this ancient light, ESA's Planck Space Telescope can essentially see the sound echoes of the early universe, creating this bizarre sounding 13 billion year old pulsating hum. The next audio clip comes from one of the most mysterious objects ever discovered in the universe, a supermassive black hole. An enormous gravitational monster that is so powerful, not even light can escape once it has crossed the event horizon, the point of no return. And amazingly, we can listen to the environment surrounding one. In some ways, this sonification is unlike any of the others because it revisits the actual sound waves discovered in the data. Astronomers found that sound waves sent out by the supermassive black hole 250 million light years away caused ripples through the hot gas at the center of the Perseus galaxy cluster. These sound waves were extracted from the data captured by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and made audible, allowing us to hear the almost eerie, intergalactic howl of a distant, supermassive black hole ringing throughout the universe. Throughout the observable universe, it is estimated that around 2 trillion galaxies exist, all made up of billions and billions of stars. Our star, the Sun, is obviously the closest to us, and so is our best example of what these enormous balls of hot glowing gas sound like. 
Over the years, many spacecraft have studied the Sun, but the one that has got the closest, and so the most exciting data, is NASA's Parker Solar Probe, the spacecraft that touched the Sun. The whooshing and whistling noises you just heard are the pressure waves from the hot, electrically charged particles in the solar wind that is radiating out of the sun's wispy outer layers. Called Whistler mode waves, they are caused by the energetic electrons bursting out of the sun's corona, the outermost part of its atmosphere. When converted into sound waves we can hear, it resembles a chaotic roaring or a screaming hurricane. It is said that on average, every star in the Milky Way has at least one exoplanet orbiting it, and there are an estimated 100 billion stars in our galaxy alone. When we look out into the observable universe, we see billions of other galaxies that are made of billions of other stars, and so the universe is likely teeming with all different types of planets orbiting those stars. According to NASA's Exoplanet Archive, however, the most common type discovered so far is Neptune-like. To get an idea of what these exoplanets sound like, we can listen to the plasma wave data captured by the only spacecraft ever to visit Neptune, Voyager 2. Neptune-like exoplanets are worlds with atmospheres dominated by hydrogen and helium, but that are about the size of Neptune or Uranus, also known as ice giants in our solar system. The other worldly audio clip you just listened to are the sounds of complex interactions between the charged particles of the sun's solar wind, which we heard earlier, and Neptune's constantly changing magnetosphere, the region around the planet dominated by its magnetic field. The result is a bizarre, almost lonely groan. You might think that the vast space in between the stars, called interstellar space, is completely empty, a void of nothingness. But it actually contains vast quantities of spread out dust, gas and cosmic rays. And thanks to NASA's Voyager 1, we can listen to what this strange, lonely region sounds like. Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft to enter interstellar space, leaving the Sun's heliosphere, which is the bubble of solar wind surrounding the solar system. The recording reveals the sound of electromagnetic waves oscillating in the plasma that fills the space in between the stars, and the sounds of charged particles hitting Voyager's instruments. Like the ocean, the interstellar medium is full of turbulent waves that are caused by things like the galaxy's rotation, supernova blasts, and other stars for example. These crashing waves can help reveal clues about the density of the interstellar medium, and even our own location in the galaxy. By listening to these almost eerie audio recordings, we can get a glimpse into the sounds of the universe that we cannot see or hear with our own senses, confirming that space is anything but a silent void. 
With the help of powerful telescopes, spacecraft and other advanced technology, scientists are constantly collecting new data on these sounds. Who knows what other wonders of the universe we will discover through sound in the future. Namaste. Asya Shri Shruta Shakti Mala Maha Mantrasya Upasthaindriyadi Varuna Aditya Rishihi Daivi Gayatri Chandaha Sattvika Dakkara Vattarika Pindasthita Srimad Kameshwara Ankanilaya Srimad Kameshwari Devata Ayim Bijam Klim Shaktihi Sahukilakam Shri Devi Prithyate Khatka Siddhyarthe Jape Vini Yoga Ayim Angushtha Pyaam Namaha Kriyam Tarjani Pyaam Namaha Sav Madhyama Pyaam Namaha Sav Anamika Pyaam Namaha Kriyam Kanishtaka Pyaam Namaha Ayim Karatala Karapurushta Pyaam Namaha Ayim Rudayaya Namaha Kriyam Sirase Swaha सौ शिखाय वषट सौ कवचाय ऊं क्ली नेत्रय वौ षट ऐं अस्त्राय फट भूर्भुव सुवरों दिग्बंद सर्वोकोत्रोद्भव से ग्रह अनुकूलस्थान Asya Shri Shri Lalita Parat Lalita Asasnam Stotra Mala Maha Mantra Sya Vashinyadi Vag Devata Rishiyaha Anushthup Chandaha Shri Lalita Parameshwari Devata Shri Mad Vag Bhava Kooteti Bijam Madhya Kooteti Shaktihi Shakti Kooteti Kilakam Shri Lalita Mahatripura Sundari Prasada Siddhi Dwara Chitka Chintita Phala 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 Vapyarthe Jape Vini Yoga Sindhura Aruna Vikraham Trinayanam Manikya Mauli Spurattara Nayaka Shekharam Smritamukhi Maapina Vakshoruham Panipya Malipoorna Ratna Chashakam Rattotpalim Dhebratim Saumyam Ratna Ghatastha Charanam Dhyayet Para Ambikam Arunam Karuna Tarangi Takshim Dhruta Pashaam Kusha Pushpa Bana Chapaam Animadi Bhi Ravruttam Mayukhai Mayukhai Rahasya Mityeva विभावये भवानी ध्याये पद्मासनास्थम विकसित वदनाम पद्मपात पद्मपत्रायताक्षीम हेमा भाम पीत वस्त्राम करकलीत लसधेम पद्माम वरांगीम सर्वला सर्व अलंकार युक्ताम सततमय भयदाम भक्तनम राम भवानी श्री विद्याम शांत मूर्तिम सकल सुरनुतम सर्व संपत प्रधात्रीन सकुम विलेपना मल्लिक चुंबिक चुंबि कस्तूरिकाम समंद हसितेक्षनाम शशर चाप पाशां कुशां अशेष जनने जनन मोहिनीम अरुणमाल्य भूषां बराम जपा कुसुम भासुराम जप विधौ स्मरे दंबिका श्री माता श्री मा ओम श्री माता श्री महाराज्ञी श्रीमद सिंहासनेश्वरी चितकुंड संभूत दैव कार्य समुद्यता उद्यदानु सहस्राबा चतुर्बाहु समन्विता रागस्वरूप पाषाढ़ क्रोधा क्रोधाकुशोज्वला मनोरूपेक्षुकोदंड पंच तन्मात्र सायका रिजा निजारुण प्रभापुर मज्जत ब्रह्मांड मंडला 
चंपकाशोग पुन्नाग सौगंधिक कुरविंद मणिश्रेणी कनकोटीर मंडिता अष्टमी चंद्र दलिकत्सल शोभिता मुखचंद्र कलंका मृगनाभिशेषका वदनास्मर मद मंगल्य गृह तोरण चिल्लिका वाक्लक्ष्मी पारिवाह चलन्मीनाभिलोचना नवचंपक पुष्पनासादंड पुष्पाभनासादंड विराजिता ताराकांति तिस्कारी नाभरण भूषिता कदंबमजरी कर्णपूर्ण मनोहरा ताटंकयुगली भूत तपनोडपमंडल पद्मगशिलादर्श पारिभावी कपोल लभु नवमी दृंब भीमश्री बिंबश्री न्यक्कारी रक्षतन शुद्ध विद्यांकुराकुरा द्विज पंक्ति द्वोज्वल कर्पूर वीटि कामोद सामकर्षि दिगंतरा निज संलाप माधुर्य विनिर्भस्तीर कचपि मंदस्मित प्रभापुरा मजद कामेश मनस अनाकलित साध्य चिबुकश्री विराजित कामेश बद मंगल्य सूत्र शोभिता कंधरा कंकांगद केयूर कमनीय भुजान्विता रत्न ग्रैवे चिंताकोल मुक्त फलान्विता कामेश्वर प्रेम रत्न मणिपुर मणिप्रतिपन्न स्थनी नाप्यालवाल लो रोमाली लता फल कुचद्वयी लक्षया रोम लता धरत समुने मध्यमस्ता स्थन भर ಕಲನ್ಮಧ್ಯಪಟಬಂಧವಲಿತ್ರಯಾರುಣಾರುಣಕೌಸುಹತ್ವಸ್ತ್ರಭಾಸ್ವತ್ರಟಿತಟಿ
निर्धक्सुर सैनिका कामेश्वरा शास्त्र निर्धक्सुर शून्य का ब्रह्मोपेन्द्र महेन्द्रादिदेव संस्थित वैभवा हर नेत्र संदग्ध काम संजीवन औषधि श्रीमद्वाघवकूटकूटकूट कूट स्वरूपिणी शक्तिपन कट्य दोभागदारिणी मूल मंत्रात्मक मूलकुत कलेश्वरे कुल मृतक कुल संकेत संकेत पालिनी कुलांगन कुलांतस्थ कौलिनी कुल योगिनी अकुला समयांतस्थ समयाचार तत्परा मूलाधारैक निलया ब्रह्म ग्रंथी विवेदिनी मणिपुरांत मणिपुरांतरूदीत विष्णु ग्रंथि विवेदिनी आज्ञा चक्र आज्ञा चक चक्रांतरा तरलस्थ रुद्र ग्रंथि विवेदिनी सहस्रांबुजारूढ़ सुधा सरा सुधा सरा विवर्षिणी नमस्ते लेडीज इन जेंटर द रीजन फॉर रिसाइटिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस श्लोकास और ऑल ऑफ दिस मात्रास ऑफ ललिता सहस्रामा इज as i was speaking about uh, the very aspect of uh, you know the uh, very aspect of uh, cosmic consciousness in center of cosmic consciousness in unity with whole and transcendence right now if you really see in this lalita sahasranama there is a very interesting point which which says Uh, which talks about uh, uh, Brahma Granthi Vivedini, Rudra Granthi. It talks about Brahma Granthi, Rudra Granthi, Vishnu Granthi. Now, if you really see this Brahma Granthi, Vishnu Granthi, Rudra Granthi, all of these exist. in this multiverse as i was uh, explaining in my previous video with regards to videos of the you know as per nasa now this is where actually that uh, these scientists fail to understand this see it talks about narayana dashakritihi narayana who is this narayana think about it ladies and gentlemen and it talks about mantrinyamba mantrinyamba what is this mantrinyamba mantri now mantri incidentally has that correlation with mantra right the reason is i will tell you out of my experience and out of my research what i have understood is when you understand mantra mananatrayate iti mantra mantra this becomes mantri mantri in the sense that uh, force which guides you which acts as a you know savior or which is having that control think about it ladies and gentlemen this is the beauty of our vedic science and most importantly brahmo pe brahmo pendra mahendra adi devastham samstuta vaibhava brahmo pe pendra brahma upendra now this brahma is again in cross reference to that and andanda indanda pindanda and not only that kameshwara kameshwara shastra nirtagda sabanda sura shunyaka shunyaka why does it is here these uh, seers have used shunyaka shunya means null when i say null this universe was null 
and it is more or less talking about the very existence of that godly you know element you know shrimad vag bhava kutaika swarupa mukha pankaja shrimad vag bhava vak vag here vak means that uh, you know uh, 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 whatever shabdas these uh, saptaswaras or signs of sound or whatever it is incidentally it has that reference think about it ladies and gentlemen this lalita sahasrama has various ways of understanding from the universe point of view from the science point of view and from the etymological point of view that is one thing madhyakoot swarupini why did he use madhyakoot brahmanda indanda pindanda indanda is in middle think about it that is one part shakti kootaika tapana katya dhobaga dharini shakti which shakti it is talking about your inner soul that is the shakti that is what is existing in the multiverse which one needs to understand and this is where actually like you know this lalita sahasrama in cross reference to that science scientific now and today i see that you know people are coming up with artificial intelligence and other things how can they really show this part that is the biggest question mark and mula mantraatmika which mula mantra and it is talking about samayanthast samayachara tatpara which samaya what samaya samayanthastha understand this ladies and gentlemen samaya samayachara and पुरातरूदीत विष्णु ग्रंथि विभेदिनी मूलधारैक निलया ब्रह्म ग्रंथि विभेदिनी मणिपुरातरूदीत विष्णु ग्रंथि विभेदिनी मूलाधारैक मूलाधार मूलाधार निलया ब्रह्म ग्रंथि विभेदिनी नाउ दिस ब्रह्म ग्रंथि विष्णु ग्रंथि रुद्र ग्रंथि इज ऑल टुगेदर अ वेरी बिगर टॉपिक दैट नीड्स टू बी टॉक बाय एंड लार्ज व्हिच आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट नाउ मणिपुरांतरुदीत मणिपुरांतरुदीत मणिपुरक मणिपुरक आज्ञा चक्र रथा आज्ञा चक्रांतरालस्थ रुद्र ग्रंथि विभेदिनी रुद्र रुद्र इज टॉकिंग अबाउट कामेश्वर अगेन दैट मींस कामेश्वर एंड कामेश्वरीज एक्जिस्टेंस एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंगली इफ यू रियली सी सुधा सागर मध्यस्थ कामाक्षी कामदायिनी नव कामा दिस इज वन एस्पेक्ट कामाक्षी कामदायिनी विच कामा इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द कामा इज नथिंग बट 
your inner feelings whatever it is kama doesn't mean we take we need to take that from the negative sense intersexual or whatever it is even that is divine in precise understand this whatever that you work you do that is also kama apart from that what happens is today thanks to those westerners and this uh, uh, you know um, uh, muslim invaders who have uh, invaded uh, our subcontinent as a whole they have contaminated they have dissolved the very uh, uh, understanding of uh, kama kamakshi kanchi kamakshi madurai meenakshi the reason for explaining this from the etymological point of view is all of this whole of this lalita sahasranama if you really break you know you will find that etymological uh, sense you will get to understand the real meaning of the shabda bedha and shabda prakarana koti koti viravrutta koti which koti it is talking about again koti here means the universe vastness this is the reference understand this i am not like you know i understand that you know uh, scholars have their own definition and uh, they take but my point of view i am talking this from the very aspect of uh, center of cosmic consciousness and the cosmic consciousness i am trying to compare the very aspect of this observable universe which is 93 billion light years this is the observable universe by the individual and the kind of you know uh, uh, yoga drashta yuga drashta yoga maya yuga maya is where this reference comes koti koti bira biravrutta pancha brahmasana sthita which pancha brahmasana it is talking about as i said you know this multiverse if you really take again i am taking the reference of multiverse in lalita sahasrama's reference ladies and gentlemen uh, uh, all the other scholars have their own point of view and i have my point of view wherein i could understand with the yoga drashta yoga drushya divya drishti i am using my intuition that divine thing which is telling me to say this point number 1 that is the thing now sarvaruna navadhyangi sarvabharana sarvabharana sarva why this sarva has been used from the holistic point of view think about it ladies and gentlemen these words a few words something like uh, you know uh, 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 chakra raja which chakra raja this chakra raja refers to the chakras that are in our body madhya kuta swarupini which madhya it is talking about this madhya this is that swarupini wherein when you open your third eye 
that's when you would be able to really understand the beauty of mother goddess you know i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen you will have to experience this it's not as easy as it seems to be and mula kutatraye mula kutatraye mula again mula now whole of this concept as i was telling our universe as a whole if we really see whole of this concept is there here as you know nasa is trying to send uh, space shuttles and uh, everything to explore but lalita sahasnama has given that uh, internal meaning think about it ladies and gentlemen it's a very hard concept at a game it can be easily understood i have my own version i have my own way of explaining things in case if anything is wrong please do get back to me till then stay blessed have a blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead